Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about Google business profiles and what impact they have on SEO for your Squarespace website. So if you have a Squarespace website and you care about SEO, then one of the things that you can do to really make sure that you are getting the most like bang for your buck is to set up a Google business profile. And it's come to my attention that just most people don't even know that this is a thing. First of all, you don't even know about it. And then second of all, you probably don't know how to do it or what's involved, what impact it is or anything like that. So in this video, I'm going to tell you not only all about Google business profiles and what they are, I'm going to tell you how they relate to SEO and how you can, you know, really use them to improve your website's visibility online and drive more traffic to your website, your business, all that sort of thing. I'm also going to show you how to either set one up or claim one. Um, so all of that sort of thing, we're going to be covering it in this video today. And um, it's really nice because this is something you can do that will only take you a couple minutes. Like seriously, you can do this in a few minutes, get it set up, and then you can really reap a lot of benefits from it, both in terms of marketing your business online and growing that traffic really long-term. So like beyond just, you know, a quick little viral video or something. So that's what we're going to be covering today. So let's dive right on into it. And before we do... I am going to share my screen here. Oh, here we go. Whoop. Okay, cool. Before we do, I wanted to tell you that I have this Squarespace SEO checklist and I'm going to leave a link to it down below. But if you're here watching this video, then you probably care about SEO and your Squarespace website. So I strongly encourage you to grab this checklist. It's a one page checklist. Um, it's been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So trust you are in fantastic company with it. And yeah, I'll leave the link down below for it. It can make sure that you are covering the basics of SEO on your Squarespace website, whether we're talking about the settings, the page content, like images, all that sort of thing. So yeah, grab a copy of it and <laughs> you're welcome in advance. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit more about Google business profiles, like what they are, how to set them up, all that sort of thing. So let me give you a few examples of what they are. Okay, oh, you can see here. So do you see here, like imagine I am, you know, I've typed in, let's say relationship counseling in Seattle, right? I'm, I'm a, a potential client looking for this type of service. So I've typed in whatever I'm looking for. And you see here how there's this kind of like thing on the right that opens up and it's like a profile for a business. So it says, you know, not only what your business is, um, you know, like the business title, it gives customer ratings. It says like what it is. So in this case, marriage or relationship counselor in Seattle, lots of photos here. It has links to, again, what is the website? I could click directions to it. So if I'm in a car, you know, this might be a bit more relevant if you're looking for, let's say, I don't know, a restaurant or something, right? You might want to load the directions into it. You can save it, you can call it. And then here, it also highlights all of the different features about this business, right? So we've got you know, the address, of course, we've got like hours of operation. So you can see whether it's open, um, you know, all of the, the time that it's, you know, like the different days of the week, all that sort of thing, phone number, yada, yada, all that. Right. And then reviews as well, because a lot of people care about reviews. We've got a basic business overview here, links to social media profiles, um, all that sort of thing. So web links. So this is basically what a Google business profile looks like. So Google business profiles show up in, oops, oh my God, I'm smacking the mic, <laughs> smack that mic around, oh my God. They are really helpful, not only to just solidify your business's online presence, but really to show up in two different areas. And I'm gonna show you what those are. So the first thing is in general web searches. So again, like I showed you here, I went to Google and I typed in, let's say, relationship counseling in Seattle or something, right? And you can kind of like click through and you see here, there's this business directory and you see that there's all of the different, like, you know, people have made Google business profiles here. And so then if I like click on one of them, like in this case, I clicked on this anchor light one and that's why the Google business popped up. But, you know, let's say if I, I don't know, did Adam Myers or whatever, then like his would come up. Okay. So that's where one of the places where it comes up. Right. And, you know, here again, too, you can see some more like business couples, like blah, blah, blah. And then you see here, 
this anchored light one, do you see how it's one of the first results in the search? Like this is one of the first like non-sponsored ones in the search results, right? And I think one of the reasons is because they have such a good Google business profile um, set up. So that's really helpful in there. Another way that people can often do it is if they go directly to Google Maps and then type in like relationship counseling. So again, you know, in this case, you would you would do it and you can see it all in the maps of Google Maps, which people use a lot, actually, if they're trying to find a service like close to their home or close to their work or something. Right. You know, you want to see visually where is it and then get the business's information on it. So, again, I typed in that and then you can see that we've got some of the different things here. And look, here's that same company, Anchored Light Couples. I'm I'm not affiliated with them in any way by just to, to let you know, but like they're doing a good job. They're showing up at the top of Google search results and Google uh, maps results because they have such a robust Google business profile. And so, yeah, you could like click on this, right. And, um, you know, see it. And then it would kind of like go through that way. Right. So Google business profile opens up here again. So that's kind of a quick overview of like what Google business profiles are, where they show up both in the web searches and on the Google Maps and why it's really, um, you know, beneficial, you know, in order to get traffic to the website and all that sort of thing. Um, so this is one of the things that you want to set up. So if you have a Squarespace website, if you have a Squarespace website, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you, first of all, have a Google business profile set up as well, and then make sure that it's linking to your Squarespace website. So if you're kind of like, okay, cool, but like, how do I do that, right? Then you can kind of go about it a couple different ways. So like, first of all, you can just go to like google.com slash business, and then you'll end up on a page that looks kind of like this. Then you just sign in or like manage your account, whatever. Or if you just like, again, Google, like Google business profile or something, then you'll see here, either way, it's like, same, same, but different. There's two different things that you can do. First of all, is you can find and manage your business. So this would be if you maybe already have an existing Google business profile set up, but maybe you like set it up three years ago and have never touched it. And now you're kind of like, oh, <laughs> maybe I should fix this, right? Then come in and manage your account. Or what you can do is click this blue button here, add your business to Google. And then that way you can add your business to Google and just follow through. So the steps are pretty straightforward. You're just going to literally like pick which option you are and then like follow along with the steps, right? So just fill it out that way. Um, so I'm not going to show you too much about like exactly what it is. But again, let's look back at some of the things that it's going to ask you for. So it's going to ask you like obviously like your business name, kind of like what type of industry you're in. So again, you might be some type of service provider. You might be like a shop. You might be a restaurant, anything like that, right? It's going to ask you, obviously, your address too. And that's a big thing as well to note is that Google business profile wants to verify that you are in fact creating a business profile for a legit business. So one of the things they're going to do is verify your address. So they're probably going to like I don't know, phone call you to double check it, or they'll send you a piece of mail, or maybe they might want to like video chat you in or something. So that is something to keep in mind that the verification happens. So you won't get it all set up like, right, like that. Um, but then again, too, remember, it's going to ask you for a link to like your website. And that's where the whole Squarespace part comes in. Because even though you have your Squarespace website that maybe has those contact information, like your address, your hours of operation, whatever that kind of thing is, you still want to make sure that that same info is repeated here on your Google business profile. So straightforward to do there. And another one of the things that I really would encourage you to do is to like add photos. So in this case too, again, you know, like you can see that the photos, even though you're like, oh, it's just like a, you know, a studio or something. Well, that, that can be really helpful, right? Because, you know, think about the different type of businesses that there are, right? Like you might want to see the inside of it. Like personally for me, if I'm looking for a dentist in my local neighborhood, for example, I might be like, oh, that dentist office looks great, but it's in a basement. And I don't personally want to go to a dentist in a basement. That's just my own weird thing, even though you might be like, oh, it's fine, whatever. But for me, I would like look through the photos and be like, oh, they got to be above, <laughs> they got to be above ground or something. Um, right. Or again, think about it. If you're maybe like, 
you're downtown and you want ramen or something. And then you are going to like look through, you're, you're going to like type into Google ramen near me or something, see the listings. And then you look through and you're like, oh, I like the aesthetic of that place or like the plates look good and it has good reviews, whatever. So you definitely want to add pictures to your Google business profile. Okay. Even if you're like doing a services based business or something like that, like having lots of images is going to be really helpful. So think about that when you're setting up your profile as well. And another thing that can be really helpful too is to encourage, whether it's clients or customers or something, to do reviews. So again, in this case, maybe like if you're a counselor, it might be harder <laughs> duh, to get them because not everyone necessarily wants to be like, oh yeah, my counselor or something. But people generally are going to trust a business that has more reviews and they don't expect every single review to be perfect. In fact, that would like maybe raise some flags for people because they'd be like, oh, is it just being like positive review farmed? Okay. But people do trust Google business profiles that have reviews a bit more. So if you can do anything to incentivize reviews or like encourage people to leave a review or something like there's so many different ways you can do that with your business, whether again, you have products or services, any way that you can encourage reviews is going to be very, very helpful for you. Because again, if your business has more reviews on the Google business profile, it's going to lead to more click throughs. It's going to lead to better visibility. It's going to lead to more trust and like faith in you as a service or product provider, all that sort of thing. So these are some of the things to keep in mind when you're setting up the Google business profile. And again, like, you know, I kind of showed you, it's really straightforward to just like follow the prompts and do it. So I'm not going to necessarily walk you through that whole thing, but um, yeah, this is something that you want to do in addition to setting up basic business information on your Squarespace website, right? So anyways, that is a quick overview of Google My Business and the role it plays in Squarespace SEO. So I'll say it one last time, just to remind you, if you have a Squarespace website, please, please, please make sure that you are setting up a Google business profile. And that might mean that you're setting up a brand new Google business profile for the first time. Cool. Great. Yay. Better late than never. <laughs> or it might mean that I encourage you, if you're watching this video, if you already have a Google business profile, you know, if you already have a Google business profile, but maybe it's been a long time since you've looked at it, or you haven't really paid that much attention to it, then I encourage you to go back to your Google business profile, optimize it, make sure that all the information is current, all that sort of thing. And as you can see, it has huge impact on SEO, your website's visibility, both in online searches, as well as the map. Um, it can help drive traffic to your business, literal traffic, but also web traffic, get more, you know, booked services, more products sold as a result, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested in online marketing in any way, having a Google business profile is going to be really beneficial. And as you can see, it's very, very simple to do. It won't take you more than a couple minutes and then a little bit of time to get verified, but you can cope. All right, my friends. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist. I've dropped the link down below again. And if you want to see more videos all about Squarespace SEO, online business, marketing, um, anything like that, web design and development, I have lots more content here on my YouTube channel or over on my blog. So the links to both of those are down below. Just take a browse through. If there's anything you want to learn, just search for it and Odds are I've maybe created a video or I can do one in the future if you let me know you want to learn about it. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.